In this lesson, we're going to look at some simple HTML forms and working with them with JavaScript. Again, I have Firebug open here, so we can take a quick look at the HTML code first, and then I'll show you the JavaScript for it. So we have a form in here. This would actually be easier if I just view page source. Let's take a quick look at it. We have a style sheet that's formatting. Not only is my style sheet formatting my text here, I do want you to notice that if you want to control the size of your form fields, you should also do that. So I've got my city, my state, and my zip. And with the pound sign, it shows that I'm formatting them by ID and setting them to a specific pixel width. So I set those sizes in the actual cascading style sheet for this page. So I have, I don't have any form action going on here. Method is git, but I'm not doing anything. The name of the form is newspaper. Everything's just calculating right here. It's just doing a little application. And the application is to check and see if somebody would like to sign up for a newspaper. And it gets their first name, last name, street address, city, state, zip. We're not doing error checking yet. We'll come back and do that on this form in the future. We're going to allow them to select with radio buttons which days they'd like delivery. We're going to allow them to choose a subscription length. We have a drop down menu here and they can select 4 weeks, 16 weeks, 24 weeks, or 52 weeks. Then we calculate and we have a box where we will give a confirmation of where they will deliver it to and that they will receive the paper, which days, and for how many weeks. And you can see this is all very simple input with everything having an appropriate name, an appropriate ID. We have radio buttons. The radio buttons are part of a group, and they can select those. So you can check my example if you want to look through the HTML. Let's look at the JavaScript. So we have the JavaScript here, and of course we're using our dollar sign function ID to return document get element by ID. We're going to calculate the cost and of course we have an onload function that just sets days underscore zero automatically seven days is automatically set to true because you would want to encourage somebody to spend more money. They can of course override that but when we first come to the page it will automatically set seven days to true. And then we have the on click for the calculate button, which we'll call our single function, very calculate cost. And we have some simple variables. We have delivery days, which is initially set to unknown until we reset it. We have the weekly cost, which we initialize to zeros. Days we initialize to a space. And then we have the number of weeks, which we just get the number of weeks here. And that will change any time we change the value and hit calculate and we set a variable called cost to initialize it to zero. We're going to do an if statement to check how many days, which days underscore zero would be seven days a week, with a weekly cost of five, and we set days equal to a string that we can display back to the, st to the user, and that will be right after the you will receive the paper every day of the week, Monday through Friday, just Saturday and Sunday, as I change this and hit calculate that'll change and it'll change the price because it also changes the weekly cost. If you don't have something selected, which isn't really possible because it started with one, but I had that in there before I made it select one, it will give you a alert telling you to select how often you want the paper delivered. Then I calculate the cost and I have a variable which I call customer confirm and it says we will deliver your newspaper to with a slash n. Since we're not writing directly into the body of the HTML, we need to use the JavaScript option here for new line, which is slash n. So we have customer underscore confirm will equal itself, which is the line that I started in here, plus the value from the first name, plus the space, plus the value from the last name, plus the space or a new line, plus the street address, plus the city, plus the state, Notice we've got a comma with the space here, plus the zip, 
and then it says you'll now receive the paper plus days which is our variable for how many weeks at a price of and it gives you the cost so all this code is out there then we set the display value this is display the box here to the customer confirm variable so it's a pretty simple program but it shows you how to work with some of the basic form elements and if you want to take a look at the code, it's mary.mccdgm.net slash cis147 slash chapter 6 slash newspaper.html. Go ahead and take a look at all of the code.